Hello crafty travelers. Today is my last day on the Oregon coast. I'm leaving this morning to head south to be in California. I've still got a few places to go, so follow along. Today is August the 11th, 2023. Hello, you have found my channel, The Crafty Traveler. My name is Lonnie and I am a 71 year old female who loves to camp and travel. I'm saying goodbye to my husband for the next four months as I travel across country with my little schnauzer Snickers. We're traveling in my Mini Winnie and towing my Honda. Come and subscribe to my channel and follow our adventures. Thanks for watching. I'm leaving Beachfront RV Park in Brookings, Oregon. I really enjoyed being in this RV park and walking on the beach with Snickers, hearing the waves at night. I might be back someday. We're back in California. Going through the redwoods, the beautiful redwood forests of California. And we stop for a break and lunch. This is just north of Eureka. It's a very long beach and a big pull out. Lots of people usually pull out here to stop, take breaks. And it's a little foggy. You can see the ocean is a little stirred up here. Snickers wanted to go down to the beach, but I didn't want him getting all muddy and sandy. All right, we better get going. This area is day use only. You have to have a parking permit between 5 a.m. and 1 a.m., I guess. Can't see it. Don't want vehicles on the beach. Ocean Beach safety warning. People have drowned here. Steep beach, stay away from the ocean. Frigid water, strong currents. Survival unlikely. So, guess we won't be going swimming here. arrived at the Redwood Coast Cabins and RV Resort and looks like they're going to charge me five dollars a night for Snickers. I'm only going to be here two nights and they better not charge me for my car. It says additional vehicle but 
this is a tow car. It's not an extra vehicle. We'll find out. There's also no Wi-Fi and no cable. I'll have to rough it. I do have full hookups, electric water, and sewer. Good morning, Crafty Travelers. Today is Saturday, August the 12th, 2023, and I'm in sunny Eureka, California, at the at the Redwood Coast RV and Cabins. It is just on the north side of 101 behind a, another business. I missed it the first time and had to come around and find it again because it's behind the other business and the sign wasn't as clear as it could have been until I actually drove into the driveway. I found this uh, campground on Trip Wizard. It wasn't as expensive as some I've stayed in. For two nights, it's a total of $100. I did get a discount with Good Sam. So that was nice. And it is a fairly nice park. It's not the biggest park I've ever been in. But it's a very nice park and has good amenities. Let me show you some pictures of the amenities. First, here's the office. You stop in front of the office to check in. Now, there was no one in the office when I came in, but my paperwork was in the little boxes in front by the door. So I grabbed my paperwork and found my site, site number 21. Here's my site. I have a good pull-through site that allows me to park my car and my RV. I had to park my car in the front because the Utilities are more to the back of the site, and I had to back up my RV to be close to the utilities. I have water, sewer, and electric. There's no Wi-Fi. There's no cable. There's no TV stations. So I'm roughing it, more or less, today. The campground can accommodate 50 amp and 30 amp. There are 12 50 amp and there are 70 30 amp sites there are 18 cabins and there are 27 tent sites this must have been an old koa because that's what it reminds me of they have a pool i didn't have the code with me so i couldn't go inside so i took pictures through the fence they have a nice playground for the kids they also have outside giant checkers and a chess game. They also have a miniature golf putting area. They do allow pets and two pets are free. So I did not have to pay anything for Snickers. They don't have a dog park, but you can walk your dog anywhere around the park. They do expect you to clean up after your dog, which is fine with me. There are restrooms and showers just on the other side of the same building the office is in. Again, I didn't have my code with me, so I didn't go in, but I'm sure they're nice. So that's my little review of the Redwood Coast Cabins and RV Park on 101. In North Eureka California I took a lot of still pictures because there are a lot of campers here although not all the sites are full and there's a lot of children around and it is kind of noisy this morning so I had to stay with my still pictures to show you the amenities and the campground all right if you like my video give me a thumbs up comment share and subscribe Stay crafty, smart, creative, and safe in Eureka, California. Thanks for watching.